Imagine a world where happiness isn't dependent on the latest gadgets, social media validation, or a never-ending pursuit of wealth. In the Sermon on the Mount, nestled amidst rolling hills, Jesus unveiled a set of principles that challenge our very definition of a fulfilling life. These principles, known as the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 3, 12, aren't pronouncements of who gets into heaven, but rather a revolutionary roadmap for navigating life's inevitable challenges and finding happiness in unexpected places. Let's delve deeper into these ancient teachings and explore how they can be applied to our modern world. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. Forget the mansions and material possessions often associated with success. This beatitude speaks of a different kind of wealth, humility. It reminds us that true happiness doesn't come from external validation or accumulating possessions. Instead, it lies in recognizing our limitations and finding fulfillment in something greater than ourselves. In today's consumerist world, bombarded by advertisements and pressured to keep up with the Joneses, this beatitude serves as a refreshing counterpoint. It encourages us to find joy in simple things, appreciate what we have, and focus on what truly matters – our relationships, our values, and our connection to something greater. In modern times, this teaching encourages a minimalist lifestyle, mindfulness, and the pursuit of inner peace over material wealth. It resonates with movements that emphasize living with less, finding contentment in non-materialistic pursuits, and fostering spiritual growth. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Life isn't a constant state of sunshine and rainbows. Grief, loss, and disappointment are inevitable parts of the human experience. This beatitude acknowledges the pain of these experiences and offers a glimmer of hope. It assures us that we're not alone in our sorrow and that there is comfort to be found in expressing our emotions, seeking support from loved ones, and allowing ourselves to heal. In a world that often pushes us to put on a brave face and dismiss difficult emotions, this beatitude reminds us of the importance of processing grief and finding solace in compassion and connection. Today this teaching is especially relevant in promoting mental health awareness. It encourages open conversations about grief and loss, supports mental health initiatives, and reminds us to be compassionate towards those who are suffering. It underscores the importance of emotional resilience and the healing power of community and empathy. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Matthew 5.5 5. Move over, Alpha Personalities. This beatitude challenges the notion that dominance and aggression are the keys to success. Meekness in this context isn't weakness. It's about strength under control, choosing gentleness, understanding, and patience over arrogance and aggression. In our fast-paced, competitive world, where elbows are thrown and voices are raised, this beatitude encourages us to listen more speak with kindness, and seek solutions that benefit everyone. It reminds us that true strength lies in humility, empathy, and the ability to navigate conflict with grace. In contemporary society, this beatitude promotes leadership styles that prioritize collaboration, empathy, and ethical decision-making. It inspires movements towards nonviolent communication, conflict resolution, and creating inclusive environments where everyone can thrive. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5, 6. This beatitude speaks to a deep longing for justice, truth, and moral integrity. It encourages us to strive for a just and equitable society, to stand up against injustice, and to live our lives with a sense of purpose and ethical responsibility. In today's world, where inequality and injustice often prevail, this teaching inspires activism, community service, and the pursuit of meaningful change. It aligns with contemporary movements for social justice, environmental sustainability, and corporate social responsibility. 
It calls us to engage in actions that promote fairness, equality, and the common good. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Matthew 5, 7. In a world that often emphasizes retribution and punishment, this beatitude calls us to show compassion and forgiveness. It reminds us that mercy is a powerful force for healing and reconciliation. Practicing mercy means letting go of grudges, offering forgiveness, and showing kindness even to those who may not seem to deserve it. This teaching is profoundly relevant in today's polarized world. It encourages restorative justice, empathy in personal and professional relationships, and the importance of second chances. It promotes a culture of compassion and understanding over judgment and condemnation. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Matthew 5, 8. Purity of heart is about having sincere intentions and a clear conscience. It calls for honesty, integrity, and a focus on what is truly good and noble. In a world where deceit and corruption can seem rampant, this beatitude encourages us to strive for inner purity and authenticity. In modern terms, this beatitude promotes ethical behavior, transparency, and sincerity in all aspects of life. It resonates with efforts to maintain personal integrity and to foster environments where honesty and truth are valued and rewarded. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9. Peacemaking is an active pursuit of harmony and reconciliation. It involves resolving conflicts, building bridges between divided communities, and promoting understanding and cooperation. In today's world, marked by division and conflict, this beatitude is a call to action for those who seek to heal and unite. This teaching supports initiatives in peace building, diplomacy, and conflict resolution. It inspires efforts to create a more harmonious and cohesive society where differences are respected and common ground is sought. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5.10 Standing up for what is right can often come with a cost. This beatitude acknowledges the courage and sacrifice of those who face persecution for their commitment to justice and truth. It reassures us that such sacrifices are not in vain and that true fulfillment comes from living in alignment with our highest principles. In contemporary times, this beatitude honors the courage of activists, whistleblowers, and anyone who faces adversity for standing up for what they believe in. It encourages resilience, courage, and the pursuit of justice despite challenges and opposition. Conclusion The Beatitudes offer a timeless guide to finding happiness and meaning in life. They challenge us to look beyond the superficial and to embrace values that foster genuine well-being and fulfillment. By applying these principles in our modern lives, we can navigate the complexities of the contemporary world with grace, compassion, and integrity. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll delve deeper into these teachings and discover how a thirst for righteousness, mercy, purity of heart, and peacemaking can lead to a more meaningful and joyful existence.